Hello everyone. Welcome back to knowledge sharing series using Raspberry Pi, Node-RED and Internet of Things. In this section, we are going to discuss about how we can send an automatic email and receive the email using Node-RED. In Node-RED, there are some nodes called email nodes which are useful for sending and receiving the emails. Now, to get that node, there are two ways. The first one is go on the left hand side and type the name email in the filter nodes. You can see there are two nodes available or you can scroll down this and find out the particular group called social group where you can find the email nodes. Here it is. Let's check the email node. There are two types of nodes. One where the connecting dot is on the left hand side that is the second one and the other one is the connecting node on the right hand side. This node, this node where the connecting node is on the right hand side is useful at the time when we want to fetch the email. And the node where we have the connecting node on the left hand side is, use, is useful to send the email through the node red. So first we are going to see that how we can send the email. So this node is useful. So let us check the property of this node by which we are going to send the email address. Double click on the node and the property window will appear. The very first field is nothing but the destination email address where we want to send the email. I want to send an email at the node red 001 at the red gmail.com. This is the destination email address. After that, it is asking for the server, port number and which type of connection we are going to use. Right now, we are using the Gmail server and Node-RED is having a good synchronization with the Gmail server. So, we are not going to change anything. Now, the next one is the user ID. Here, the user ID is nothing but the from email address or the from uh, particular user ID. I, I am sending an email from node red 002 you can use at the red gmail dot com or without gmail also it will consider now the password friends remember most important thing in this area is the password here you are supposed to create one application specific password from google security so go to your gmail account enable the two step verification and then there is an option called application password create an application password and then you can use that password the default password which you are using for you regularly checking your gmail will not work here after that let it be use tsl and the name you can give that is let's say sending email and click on done once again if you want to see you can double click on this and you can done the property box now take an inject node but before that just once again you move your cursor on the email node to check two property that is message dot payload as an email that is the content of your email with a subject of message dot topic now what is this let us see using the inject node now whenever you drag and drop the inject node by default it consider it as a timestamp Check the property of time of inject node. Double click on that and here you can see two different property called payload and topic. Just before few seconds I have remind that message dot payload and message dot topic. So now whatever I am writing in the topic that will be considered as a subject of the email. So let's write subject of my email and for the payload if I want to pass some string then let's consider this as a string and let's write this is my first email using node red. Right now don't go for the repeat or any other option of this inject node. Click done. Connect this to node and click on the deploy. If everything is okay you will get some sort of message. I have some other nodes available in my flow. That's why it is showing me this message. But 
right now there is no problem now click on this button so that it will inject the particular data for that particular email node now when i am click on this particular inject node it is showing that the node has been sending the message to the email node and email node has already sent the messages now if you it is already sent i will show you the email but let us say that there will be some error and i have changed the user id let's deploy it and let's again i am clicking on this see friend so if i am having some error message or something goes wrong with the username password or anything the appropriate message will be available on the right hand side debug area so if you don't know or if this kind of debug node is not available make sure you have click on this kind of tab otherwise the debug message will not appear into your screen let's rechange the name or correct the information click on the done deploy it delete this particular debug and let's resend it if there is no error it is not going to show me any kind of messages in the debug window now let's check the inbox friends check this inbox it is node red 001 at the red gmail.com right now i don't have any email or anything in this let's execute the flow once again so that it is sending an email to my node red 001 as it is showing that there is no error so there must be an email so before we go into the inbox it has the email you can see that the subject whatever we have mentioned subject of my email under this particular inject node topic will be my subject of the email and whatever i have mentioned into the payload that is this is my first email using node red will be the content of my email i hope it is quite clear still we will see some more examples some more complicated and some more filtered example on e email in coming videos but this will show you how to send an email using your node red it is quite easy now some of the application of emails are at the time when you connect the system into the iot and when you have some sort of notifications which is automatically generated by the hardware it should send the email to the concerned person so at that time this kind of email nodes are very much useful if you want to send the email to more people then again go to the sending email node specify the other email address after comma and it will send all the participants and copy of the email now in gmail let's see how you can create an application specific password so for that just go to your account that is manage your google account after that you go to the security tab on the left hand side as soon as you click on the security tab and scroll down it go or check this sign in into google this option here i have already enabled the two step verification if you have not enabled two step verification the very first step is to enable this by providing the sms or uh, mobile number or other details you must enable two step verification next as soon as you enable this this app password tab will appear click on this it will open new window but once again as it is in security it will ask you for the password and after that it is asking that select the app and device you want to generate the app password so here our not that is not there so you can give the name other let's say you can select the customized name before that you delete this maybe some issue with the yes let's a test or you can give any name the password will be automatically generated by your google the same email has been given to your inbox that you can see here the password has been successfully created right so just copy this password and use this password into your node red sending email node otherwise your node red 
will not be able to send any email through its sending email node. Gmail will block this particular application. I hope it is quite clear to send the email using Node-RED on Raspberry Pi. Subscribe the channel to get the regular updates on Knowledge Series. Thank you.